Born and raised in Gresford, New South Wales, it's Lockie Richardson. Come on. Well, 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 we are in for a night of nights. Well, that was the great white hunter from the Throsby and Russell Bucking Bulls. First time in the sport that we've seen a qualified eight-second ride. First man out in the competition, he got him done. Let's check the numbers as they come through from the officials here tonight. We have our southern, Mr. Dean Pace, two of the astute professional riders. Well, we're getting a score through 85 points to start proceedings, ladies and gentlemen. 8-5. Well, what a great way to get started. Gates are back. It's the Can-Am team. Oh, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a long way from Concord to Maitland. Let's put our hands together. It's the left with the right. Make a little noise for the young man's effort. Well, it's official 3.1 seconds, 3.19. Not going to be good enough for the Concurry champion. once for a score of 84 points. That was by Lockie Slade of Tamworth. Well, he's out. Let's see if we can get him done. Can he be number two cowboy to qualify? Hey, this kid's come to try. Looking good. Staying tight. Square throughout the duration. Well, we have got our second number on the board. Boy. Well, that's going to be good for the Victorian. He is one of the rookie cowboys on the PBR Tour for 2023. And only the second man to ride born for this. Well, remember, you need to be in the top corner bull from the Thronsby and Russell Bucking Bulls called Mr. Brightside. It's on. Well, look at this kid come a riding. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he may be 11 year veteran on the PBR tour, a winner last weekend in Corindai, and tonight. He's our third man to get to the siren in this division. That was Mr. Brightside. Had only had two qualified scores written earlier in the year by Brady Wheeler and Lachlan Slade for 86 points. Man, Clint had a tough start. Backed out of it. Score is, it's up 84.25. We have got numbers coming through. 84.25. It has moved him into second place. That was one of the fireball matchups. 84.25. Uh, well, let's go Yeti style. Brazil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our Brazilian international cowboy, Italio Aguilino, gets one qualified here in the round of competition here tonight. Well, we saw him ride back in June in Sydney, qualified down there in the bull riding on a bull called War Paint. Tonight, he has got one done in Maitland in the Hunter Valley from the Lazy G Bucking Bulls. Well, we get to watch this on the big screen. Watch the replay, slow motion. He's out and around into his hand. His upper body's good, the free hand. Nice and forward, keeping the shoulders square throughout the duration. Hey, and our Brazilian good friend has got him done as that siren sounds in the background. Takes the ripcord, ejects Calliope, Queensland. He's won more money than any this season. Look at him ride. Come on now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a dandy called Taquito from the Mains Bucking Bulls. Ladies and gentlemen, if you paid an admission fee here tonight, you have earned it in one single ride. Let's hear it from Macaulay Leather and Taquito. 
Well, it's all about accumulating points and prize money throughout the regular season. He's busting to win his first ever PBR National Gold Buckle. Hey, let's watch the replay. Bull hung a horn in the gate. He was out hard. Now, doesn't kick a lot in the hind legs, but boy, he's fast. Now, he's away from his hand. That's going to earn a few extra points. But it's the use of that outside foot away from his hand. That is total control when it comes to ball riding. He has shown to the judges that he is without any doubt in control throughout the duration of that ride. Now, they will put pen to paper that scores will come through. Okay, let's go with Dan Rulon this time, and we are underway. Well, here is a man that's ranked at number two on the PBR Tour of Australia. Well, you've seen back-to-back -back one and two in the national standings. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a third-generation professional athlete. Let's hear it for the 25-year-old from Haywood, Victoria, Sam Woodall. Well, that was the bullet he was on from the Dun Bulls. That was Nemesis. Well, we'll have some scores updated here shortly, but man, oh man, that was indeed Sam Woodall on the Statesman Hats matchup ball called Nemesis. And the numbers are coming through from the officials. Boy, oh boy, what a round of bull riding. We've seen back-to-back -back number one, number two on the PBR circuit for 2023. Riley E, 19 years of age, your night here in Maitland. Out and around, hey, into his hand. This kid came to ride a bull in Maitland, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at 19 years of age, what a welcome return to the sport of professional bull riding. The young man that joins us from Tresco. Well, we have. We have the numbers through already. We have got a score of 79 points. The young Riley Eid, 79 points. But he has the option of a rewrite. Now, the reason for that being, you'll notice this ball was a little flat. Had not kicked as steep as some. Judges like to give every young man an opportunity. However, already consultation has taken place. He's accepted. We've seen high rides in Brisbane, 85 and a half points. This kid can ride. He's a little tougher than a lot. Hey, and the boy from Dubbo's making a job of it. Oh, man. I'm not too sure. Well, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to see the judges check their scores and that time. We will need to check with Al Southern. We'll need to check with Dean Pace whether or not they have the stopwatches in their hands. It's going to be a close call. He's going to hold his breath for a few moments until we get a thumbs up or a thumbs down from the officials. Hey, you know what, folks? I've got a little positive news for James Stockdale. He has qualified with a score of 82 points. Hey, yeah, that's good. 82 points for the young man. That was the Lewis Ski Boats matchup. 82 points. He is looking to be the third man to ever get him done for the eight-second duration. Well, the Brazilian boys have been in good form. This boy's no different, ladies and gentlemen. Well... We're looking for a second of our Brazilian boys to make back to the short go. Ladies and gentlemen, from Brotons, Brazil, Romeo Litti makes it to the siren in this division. Well, he would be happy. We saw him last weekend there in Corindai. He was 81 points on Quake. Pro Prior to that, well, he's staying consistent. You know, folks, seven days ago in Corindai, it was 81 points. Seven days to the day back here in Maitland. 81 points as the Farmland Company matchup of the round. That was Farmland that bought us that young cowboy, Romario Liti.
81 points for our division. Keep your eyes glued to the Eddie shoot. We need 85 points a minute to take the lead. Is it going to be his night, boy? It's on. He's big. He's bold. He's around the corner. Come on, Maitland. Let's cheer him on. Well, well, well. That's going to be a welcome surprise and a boost to his morale. You know what, folks? There's nothing more pleasing to be bucked off one, come back a several months later, square up. Now the ledger reads one all. We have got a ledger that reads one all. Fast and Furious was written for only his second time ever on the PBR tour. Well, I tell you, does it look good to you and I, ladies and gentlemen? The judges see it tonight with a score of 85 points. 85. Incredible record. He's been out 11 times, unridden to this point of time. And man, it is once again, Brumby Vandenberg, 3.09 seconds, takes him out of the round of the competition. That was Say When, and it was from the Throsby and Russell Bucking Bulls. It gets us and him to the ground early in our competition. Once again, he was same as our previous bull. He was out, round tight to the right. He was in the POA shoot, and it is another victim to Throsby and Russell team. The lead on 85. And it's a bunch of 84s, but oh, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, come on, you've been a little quiet here tonight in the short go. How about we recognise these athletes for the effort with which they come forward? That was indeed the Canadian club from the Mains Bucking Bulls. Hey, that was SM805. Well, man, if this is any indication of what we're going to see here in this short go, anything is... Let's see if we're going to square it up tonight for James Stockdale. Oh, yeah, boy. He is a mountain of muscle, 1,100 kilos of twisting tornado. Hey, we may have seen Everest conquered for the first time here tonight. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of the score, how about we put our hands together for him? We've got a review on that ride. Well, he was strong. Look at the size. He looks like a jockey compared to the rest of the riders in the competition. Small in size. He's a quiet, unassuming young man. Now, the judges are looking to review that there was no touchdowns early in the competition. Unless you're 100% certain, the benefit of the doubt's got to go towards the cowboy on this occasion. Judges are looking, numbers. Okay, there will be a qualified score. The judges now have cleared, the judges have cleared the qualified ride section. It's now about adding the numbers up. With the momentum, let's go forward from the KM shoot. Boy, I like what we're seeing here tonight in Maitland. Well, that is the form and the style. It's made him at the top of the pack. Ladies and gentlemen, he's had wins at Toowoomba, Newcastle, Rockhampton, and Bloomsbury. Let's hear it from Macaulay Leather. Well, he was. He was on one of the Lewis Ski Boats matchup at the round of the competition. Hey, and a score tonight of 84 and a half points. Grimsy a grand total of 167.5. He now, he now takes the lead in the overall competition. Macaulay Leather, 167 and a half points. Qualified here tonight on the Lazy G Bucking Bull called I'm Cool. Gate cracks. Let's ride with him. Jump for jump, Sam Waddle. Come on, Sam. Let's get it done, boy. Let's get it done. Go on now. Go on now. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, he has done the Waddle name proud. Let's hear it for him. Man, he is the son of a champion, and boy, 
He rides with a Whittle brand on his back. That is Sam Whittle from Haywood, Victoria. Well, they don't get any bigger, better and badder. We'll wait. Well, the judges want to review the score. Judges are really, really happy. Let's you watch the replay. You watch the scores as they come in. Well, we'll just see what the judges say, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, do you agree with the judges? We got a score coming your way. Yeah, man, that little man from Victoria. He is looking. Ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are coming through. Sit back, hold your seats over the world, and it's Wetzel time. Come on, Lockie. Come on now. Do it for the town. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Hunter Valley, Let's hear it from Million Dollar Bull Rider, Lucky Richardson. Well, history has been made here tonight. First man ever in the sport of Australian professional bull riding to ride the Nandy. He led the first round. He was the highest ranked qualifier in the opening section. Man, that was a matchup. That was a monster energy matchup. Lachlan Richardson. Well, the scores are coming through, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to see a score for Lockie. 86 and a half points. 86 and a half. Gives him a grand total of 171.5. 171.5.